Good afternoon everybody, it's Evie here. This afternoon I'm going to do a very large long um, canvas, uh, 40 by 80 centimetres. So I've got another one under here that I've already prepared so I'll just show you. So I've already stretched the canvas with the wood applications in the corner and put the tape around the back. That's what we're going to do today. A painting with enhancements of crystals and glitter and mirror glass but I'm going to do it in blue and silver this one's only small compared to the one I'm going to be doing next spray painted the back at uh, the front I beg your pardon half this half and the side edges in Dulux metal shield in blue and this side I've already sprayed and this one is in Dulux metal shield bronze so that's my base that I'm going to be working on today these are the enhancements I'm going to be using today this is um, a crystal glass in large I've smashed it and made some medium and small and I'm also going to be using the mirror glass chips which are beautiful it's hard to get these got the, these at uh, Bunnings and these crystal glass. They come in really huge pieces and then I've smashed them up to different sizes. And then these are the assortment of glitters I'm going to use. Three of them are from the Rez Expressions and one of them is Pearl Lilac. And then we've got Crushed Ice. And then we've got German Crushed Glitter. The other ones are an assortment of just a cheaper, you know, from a dollar shop, some blues and a, a blue violet colour and some silver. So we'll see how we go. First thing I'm going to do, I've just mixed up a little bit of uh, platinum ultra clear um, resin with a uni base, two parts to one. It's um, mixed with volume, not by weight. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed, stirred around the edges, off the stick and across the base for about three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a point in my cup to make it easier to pour out. And I'm going to, oops, see, I hope this is okay. I'm going to pour along on the join line not too much just a little bit along on that line I prefer to use resin than glue to adhere my, my glass and crystals so I shall start off with a couple of big ones I don't need to wear gloves because my fingers aren't going to touch the um, touch the resin. And the reason I love these is because we can see the colours coming up through. See the colours coming up through the um, resin itself. I'll place some big ones on there. And then I'll place some little ones, or smaller ones anyway. I like a bigger one on the end there. Okay, that's the large ones. Well, what I'm going to be doing, so it's like the other painting, this one, is I'm going to be pouring some resin down 
onto these. On this painting, I actually put black onto the bronze and bronze onto the black, but I'm just going to do it with um, resin, I think. Spilt just a bit much there. I'll make a little one here. Maybe I'll do it with a stick. I might not be so clumsy. I'm going to do them different lengths and try and keep them straight. Hope everyone's having a super day. Um, it's March here in Tasmania and we are having some unusually hot few days. Temperature in the 30s, very unusual for Tasmania. Up here in Lonnie, Launceston that is, to non-locals. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I think it's going to be 28 and then after that it's going to go down to 21 which is about what it should be at this time of year. Usually February is our hottest month. What's the weather like where you are? Let me know where you're from, what your weather's like, what's your art you're making at the moment. If you'd like to see this particular piece of art in different colours, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I answer every, every comment and I look forward to them. I don't get very many. Um, so it'd be really lovely if some people left more comments or words of advice, etc. Okay, so my next piece is going to be some small to medium pieces coming down. I do hope, I wonder if I should put blue under there. Oh, I'm unsure whether to or not now. It might be a bit plain. Oh, I think I might change this. Hang on. Okay, I've mixed up some cosmic blue in Lorez. Um, it's a pearlescent pigment. It's beautiful. So as close as I can get it to the blue, the metallic blue. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that down into the resin that I've already put down. Give my hands are a little bit shaky today. Don't know why. Anyway, as I was saying about our freak weather, it's just so hot. I'm not used to it. A couple of weeks ago, my nieces were here from Brisbane and I had the wood fire on so it just goes to show you, you never know what it's going to be like lately but I think it's like that a lot around the world isn't it I seem to have more wet, more energy in the colder weather I don't know about you I've been very busy lately I've also finished making a quilt for um, a nephew Riley, 
and he hasn't got it yet. I'll be posting it tomorrow. So um, I'm really pleased with it. It's all cars. I might even link, show you a picture of it later. I'll just finish putting this put blue on and I'll show you a couple of pieces where I'm adding the crystals and the glitter. I won't bore you with the whole lot because you only need to see how to do it a little bit. But I do find having different lengths of um, crystals etc hanging down to be more pleasing to the eye. This um, particular piece of art can be placed the blue top or the gold top, whatever you find is pleasing to your eye. It's quite a simple thing to do. It's very relaxing. about it. Now I'm just going to continue again popping these they don't have to oh that's better the blue's shining up through it you can see that so I just sprinkle them along varying in size as I get down to the end they're smaller mirror glass just on these couple just so that you can see what I'm doing now I'm doesn't it'll only stick to where the there is resin so although it looks as if I'm being really messy here it will pick up where there is resin resin and stick to it and then what doesn't stick I brush off in the morning okay so we'll do that one I'm also going to put some nice gold. Oh, that's for this side. Hang on. That's when I use up here. Sorry, I got confused. And on each one, a little sprinkle also of blue glitter you might put a bit of that there through on these now because that will glitter through the crystals This original technique that I saw was um, I'm just I'll think of her name I can't remember it at this moment so I'll actually write it put it up on the video and so you know who it was she's got some lovely ideas and I thank you for her inspiration right so you can see what I'm going to do here so I'll come back when I finish that what I've done here just sprinkling over and the colors coming through the crystals 
and at the moment right now that's the mirror crushed mirror glass and I'm just sprinkle it all over as I say what's not stuck on will just brush off tomorrow and then I'm going to turn around and do the other end and I for this side and then we're going to start on the other side a cheap old brush and that is to brush between them slightly if you want to it's not necessary but I'll show you hopefully I can I'm holding this um, iPad at the side hang on let me do one in here can you see me here yes yeah, so I'm just separating it down but it's not necessary see this is all the stuff that's not stuck or you can brush it over to onto the resin itself on the other side i've mixed up some molten gold metallic uh, epoxy paste um, which i think will go very nicely with this although it's called a bronze i do believe it's a more of a molten gold that i'm going to put on this side i'm going to do exactly what i've done on that side in the opposite colours. Okay. Here it is here, mixed up. Can't know if you can see. Yes, you can see that now. Okay, so on this side I'm just going to do the same. I can't fit the whole um, I can't fit the whole um, canvas in to the to video so excuse me if i'm if i'm off screen can you see those couple of, oh you can so that's what i'm going to do now i'm just going to go along and put my molten gold lores expressions paste i love this one absolutely love it and it comes out exactly as it looks beautiful metallic metallic so I'll carry on with that and come back I've got my molten gold on here now so I'm going to do the same place some larger crystals in here Very, uh, it's a very soothing type of art form and it's quite addictive. I haven't done one of these for years and I forgot how much I enjoyed them. If I find that the stuff it's not sticking enough I will just place on um, drizzle some more clear resin over the top but last time I did this it worked very very well nice bit big
the next size. Getting a bit short on these. I'm going to have to smash some more up before I can ever do another one. because I've got it sideways I can't see how it will look long ways I don't want it to be like all in a row even I want it to be up and down like crystals would be right so I'll put a bit of um a bit of the gold glitter now it's very fine this one See, it really, really sparkles. Now for some like crushed mirror glass. It looks overkill but it's you don't want to miss a piece so it's easier to do it this way and then just brush it off on this side I've got some German crushed um, glitter it's very sparkly so I'm just going to put some of that also on this side that's it now I'll just come through like I did with this one and brush through the center okay I finished doing that now as you can see both sides are completed I'm just going to get some clear and just drizzle it along just a little bit I don't think I need to show you that final shot of it wet I've just drizzled some clear resin epoxy resin just over the top so it sinks down through some of those enhancements so we'll leave this overnight and we'll be back tomorrow. I want to show you the finished result. It's night time here. I've had the most wonderful day, spent time with my family, had a nice meal together, did a painting, did lots of things today. So I now want to share with you my latest piece. And here it is. If you've enjoyed this little video, please like, subscribe, share, um, comment. I'd really love to hear from more people. Um, I haven't learned how to go on to Instagram and TikTok and all those things yet, but uh, I hope you've really enjoyed this beautiful piece of art and I'm really quite thrilled with it. I'll bring you in close now. So I'll bring you into the middle where we've got the heavier crystals and glass in and how the that they've taken on the color of the epoxy um, mica powders and um, pastes and all the different um, crystals and enhancements 
are on there beautifully and I love it. Tomorrow I'll just give it maybe just a final wipe down any stray little bits to take off but I'm going to put this up 10 out tonight on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I've enjoyed doing it for you and uh, it is for sale if anybody's interested. Just contact me on Aunt Creations by Yvette. Thank you.